Thank you so much, Bill. That, ang, ang ganda nung nakita natin yun mula kay Mr. Archie. Dude. I like the interview. I like the interview. Parang, it's all, everything has to uh, be right para maging tama nga naman for their team. Para mag-work out sila. They have this goal na gusto nilang magkaroon ng top 4 finish and confidence si uh, Mr. Archie na aabot sila sa top 4 finish. I like that kind of confidence between in the Parang team itself. Ano eh, confident na humble. Kasi <laughs> minsan nabing top 1, basta top 4, okay exactly. na. Then saka na lang siguro mag-aim ulit yeah. pag nakapasok na sa top 4. Pero alam mo ah, kasi curious nga rin naman ako, paano nabuo yung STIE Olympians? Rather, they mentioned, he mentioned, rather than acquiring a, a, four, team. a team na na nakaform na, bumuo na lang sila ng bago. And ang laking adjustment nun yeah, the, in preparation for the nationals. It will not be easy, of Hindi. course. Dahil itong mga players na nakuha nila, they, this might be the very first time that all of the five of them will be together as a team. And we know that if you're playing against top teams, napakahirap fact na hindi ka nga ganun ka-prepared laban sa mga kalaban mo. Kung bagay mo. yung chemistry, bubuuin yeah. mo pa dyan. And of course, um, then again, ang ganda rin, ng tiwala yeah. na binanggit niya dito, they have a good coach, coach. a very smart coach nga raw, na, na kayang uh, tumulong dito sa, kung baga, Kumbaga, pupunan pa yung skills na meron yeah. yung mga players natin. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, si 666 ba ang kanilang coach dito? Si Anon o Ashley Pegas Anon? Well, we will see later we will siguro see later during sa camera. Kasi possible din dito na isa sa mga, kasi we have this list of players, oh, yeah. possible din na sa, sa mga players nila. We'll just have to verify. Yeah, we will, we will verify. Now, we are moving forward para sa number three of this best of three series winner of course is mas maganda yung standing nila heading one, one. into the bracket now nakita natin talaga ang winning recipe para sa para sa teams na to it's because oh, it's it is controlling the mid game yun yung winning recipe and particularly Leo Mord yun yung sabi na nating 100% win so far Kaja so far Kaja, eh, Kaja as well mm -hmm. so is it Gonna be the Kaja Leo Mord combination that actually wins the game. Or will it be banned na kaya dito for our third game? Kasi one one sila again. The match between Happy Feet Emperors and SDIE Olympians magiinit na yeah. as we start uh, later on para sa ating draft. Pero sa ngayon, wong wala tayong player uh, change dito. Yeah, th there will not be. Uh, wala naman sinabi sa ating player sinabi. changes so far. Actually, I'm gonna look towards the lobby. Really quickly, mm -hmm. it seems like Tan is back. Tan is, Tan back. is back. So, yung MVP natin from Game 1, siya na ulit yeah. ang papalit dito sa pwesto ni MB. Uh, yeah. Or rather, Lloydie. Lloydie, Lloydie yes. Eh, eh, well, actually, looking back dun sa Game number 2 where Lloydie actually mm -hmm. played, di naman ganun ka, it, I don't think that the level of play was different. It seems like nagkaroon lang yata ng siguro ng konting, uh, konting difference dun sa kanilang lineup kasi hindi na sila masyadong kasing strong ng mid game as compared to their previous games probably it's it was the draft din and of draft, course yung yeah. rotation and tulad nga ng sinasabi natin kanina yung nabuhos na five members yeah. just to secure that first turtle of the game habang yung kalaban nila ayan naglilinis yeah. lang nagwawalis lang sa kanya-kanyang lanes yeah. nagpa-farm kumbaga na-equalize pa nila and of course nag-lead pa nga sila in terms of gold yeah. I have to mention that this is sort of um, the argument between the macro and the micro play. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, guys, mm -hmm. the difference between macro game and the micro game, micro is more of the little details, like yes. how you outplay your opponents, how you win over your opponents by outplaying your your, uh, your opponents, like you mentioned. And then there's the macro, wherein you take into factor the overall map, the overall objectives of the game. Like, for example, gano kalakas kayo mag-farm? That's a macro decision that you have to take. Yun yung medyo nagkinulangan tayo sa Happy yeah. Feet Emperors heading towards game number 2. Kasi, katulad ng sinabi natin kanina, they focused on putting their efforts on taking the turtle as soon as possible which prompted them to have 5 members. At alam yeah. natin, having 5 members into one objective early game, it means na yung ibang parts ng mapa napapabayaan niya. And as a result, doon na nga nagkaroon ng, ng uh, disadvantage yung Happy Feet Emperors which kung mapapaisip ka, bakit yung isang team na nakuha ng turtle, bakit sila pa Oo, yung bahay? Oo, bakit sila yung bahay? Pero yun nga lang, nagwawalis lang naman si Helper yeah. at napakabilis maglakad exactly. from one point to another. Kumukuha ng mga neutral monsters, pati nga yung neutral monsters ng kalaban, inubos na yun. Yeah. doon sila nagkaroon ng advantage. Siguro yun lang yung hindi napansin ng Happy Feet Emperors on the second game. But of course, Titigan natin sa Game 3 natin kasi ako hindi ko sure ang anong mangyayari. 1-1 um, to, it just so means na pareho silang may potential yeah. talaga. There's still a plenty of potential. I wanna kind of talk about the meta of the heroes that we are seeing. 
since we've already talked about the Kaja as well as the as well as the Liam Ward. Ano pa sa tingin mo dito yung mga pwedeng i-consider teams? Kasi I think that Chico with the show is also very scary. You have to take note, game number one, binan ng, ST, ng Happy Feet Emperors ang Cho. But game number two, hinayaan nila. And you saw how Chico played it well. Do you think that this is also a Pwede. priority? Actually, yung mga initiators talaga, and of course, yung mga nag-zone out, tulad ng Garak, Kaja, yeah. Chico, Cho. Uh, yeah, Cho. Cho. <laughs> Cho, naging ano na eh. Uy, pareho rin na, si Pareho rin. Pagkatunog, tapos magkamukha pa sila, napakasin pa sila na ang ganun. Nakaganan pa. <laughs> Pero ayun, yung mga initiators talaga, ang laking factor, kasi kapag nakaset up ka ng fight, yung mga carries mo, yung mga damage dealers mo behind, can just, you know, throw all of their skills for as long as ma-hold yung target. That's true. Yeah, that's also important to take note that the uh, tanks, kumukunti yung mga choices natin dahil, well, for example, Kufra is not available. Yeah. Ang laki agad na nawala dun sa pool of tanks na viable sa meta natin. Correct. Kasi, if you if you th think about it, konti lang talaga yung mga tanks na sobrang viable sa meta. You only have the Grok, the Cho, Akai, you have the Kufra, for example, na yun nga, naban na siya. And apart from that, there's really not much. Minotaur is there, syempre. Yeah, Lolita, Minotaur's. maybe. At, pero mukhang, yung Lolita kasi medyo niche pick siya. Parang uh -huh. specific pa yung pwedeng mga kasama dun. So, hindi siya ganun ka reliable. So, all I'm trying to say is, for the choices of tanks, kumukoti na nga lang. So, kumukoti. minsan, sila pa yung pinapriority na i-pick. You know what? Sometimes I said they would opt to pick yung mga high uh, uh, yung mga high win It's rates fine. sa early game yes. time na mga tank support. Tulad nga na sinabi mo, hindi lang sila basta-basta tanky, kung baga may damage din sila. At yun, most likely, nandun yun sa Grok, nandun yun sa Kaja, and nandun din yun sa, sa Chuk. Hindi ko na naman bakit Chico. <laughs> si Chico. Uh -huh. Pero ito na nga. Ang E-Olympians dito, binan na agad ang Grok, as well as the Minotaur. Oy, ito na nga Your sinasabi natin. Oh, na nila. The respect from Happy Feet Emperors. Nako This po. is... Okay, so STI e Olympians will get the blue side. Yan ang kanilang mga choice dito. Now, Kaja ang kanilang top na pick. Ang daming mga playmakers na naban na dito. All yep. of the tanks. Yep. Almost all of the bands are geared towards the tanks. But Lunox is available Kaja. because of this. Yeah, yun nga lang. Ang Lunox is kaya picking. is secure ng Happy Feet Emperors dito. Ano mo magandang i-partner kay Lunox? It looks like they will be hovering onto the Sakai. Yeah, Akai um, Lunox. Leomard, by the way, is also still available. Na so far, 100% win rate for the first two rounds yeah. na nakita natin sa laban ng STIE Olympians and Happy Feet Emperors. They're still deciding onto this. But I think, para sa akin, nakukuhain na lang nila yung Lunox. Yeah. Yeah, I think it ang, makes total sense. Ang sakit din ang combo ng Kaja Lunox just in case kung iisip Oh. Ibigay nila yung ano eh. Lunok, Lunok sa... So parang deny pick na rin siya. Uy! Okay. Lolita, I actually understand bakit yung hindi ginawa ng okay. Happy Feet Emperors. Noong nagkaroon ng international tournament last weekend, mm -hmm. Lolita has been picked dahil ito yung pinakasagot nila against the Lunox. Uh -huh. The Bulwark actually answers the damage out of, out of the Lunox. And not only that, yung Bulwark na... Shielding coming out from the Lolita Mas nabuff na siya Towards the weekend eh, Towards the patch Ngayon Leo Dahil pinig dito yung Akai Lunox. Tsaka yung uh, Lolita Parang picking. nasagot nila agad yung potential na Lunox They know that the Lunox will be picked no matter what So they will answer it with the Lolita At back to back pa yung kanilang Your sagot They also have high. the Hellcurt To completely uh, contest Or i-check e itong Lunox na pick A very smart move wala sa Happy Feet Emperors actually. Napagandang panghuli ng squishies dito. Napinili ng Emperors ang Hellcurt. Pero alam natin, once available dito yung ultimate ng Lunox. Naku, hindi rin yan basta-basta mahuli. Is eh. So Harley, ang automatic na ban mula sa STIE Olympians because they know that Tan plays this really well. Mm -hmm. Tingnan natin dito magiging ban ng Happy Feet Emperor, so far, what is missing on the side of the Olympians? Okay. Oh, Your team parang main is open picking. lang sila dito. Feeling ko hindi naman talaga to respect ban or something. Yeah. Um, kasi hindi, hindi natin yan usually... Well, yeah. there are a lot of other better heroes na pwedeng iban. But this time, looks like they're just opening up yeah. some options. I, I think that the Happy Feet Emperors will go for yung mga heroes na wala masyadong tagos sa shielding. Because the thing with uh, Gano Katya is... Sobrang kulot niya kapag nagpa-online siya in the picking. latter stages of the game. That's why the Garokacha is bad. Because actually, Hellcurt and Selena, they don't have ways to deal with this Garokacha or deal the damage through the defenses of the Garokacha. That's why this is a bad for Mami Fit Emperors. Parang, don't 
let's not think about this as a random na, na band kasi parang hindi naman siya ganun kasi at sa meta but see it as a way para yung Happy Feet Embers they will be comfortable in whatever they play because yung mga counters sa mga hero nila is not there doesn't matter what STI Olympians will pick in view of the Garo Katcha at least comfortable sila sa paggabit nila ng mga heroes nila Nako, tignan natin Bellary. yung Chico will be Your locking in the Peleric meron naman dito nilabas na Granger's secret so Secret, they, I mean, or STI EO Olympians, they're looking for the big burst of damage talaga in combination with the Kaja Divine Judgment. And that will come from the Granger, Lunox, and Leo Mord. So, even, kahit anong parang naging, uh, parang combination or the duo wow. ng STI Olympians, ng kanilang gang squad, merong kill potential. Kunwari, Kaja plus Leo Mord, kaya pumatay. Kaja plus Lunox, kaya kaya pumatay. Kaja plus Granger, kaya rin pumatay. So this Kaja will have a lot of time, a lot of options, I mean, to go around the map and facilitate for kills. Kasi kahit sinong i-pair mo sa kanya, makakuha ng kills. Ang lakas din ng range burst damage dito ng STI, or, or rather, in, in general, yung range damage ng STI Olympians dito. Ah. Lunox and Granger, basta naka-quest yan sa likod, naka free ng maay sa likod. Nako, baka pwedeng malusaw dyan yeah. dito yung mga tank support on the side of Happy Feet Emperors. Yeah. So, I think this is interesting. It's a five-man lineup mula doon sa Happy Feet Emperors versus a lineup that can go for skirmishes. Then again, pag nagkaroon ng 5v5 na laban dito, sino nga ba talaga ang mas lalamang? I would say that medyo nandito tayo sa side ng Happy Feet Emperors if they play their, car their cards right. Mm -hmm. For example, if they hit their Numinon Blast, if their Hurricane Dance is actually good, they can eliminate their other members because of the AOE lockdown that they do have. However, if the STI EO Olympians, they engage us 5, but they Action. catch... Happy Feet Embers first. All For example, may Divine Judgment na malupit. Mas malupit. Mas lamang nga sila sa mga laban. Now we jump into game number three. SCIE Olympians versus HF Emperors. We have Chester on the Leomar. Jiko sa kanyang uh, Belleric. It's Deja Vu on this Lunox. Jiko on the Kaja and Secret with the Granger. Para naman sa side ng Happy Feet Emperors, we have Arbe on the Tom Scrum. Para sa Akai, Mr. V. Para sa Lolita, Tad. Para sa Selena, MP. Para sa Hellcart at sa top lane. Look at that cut of creep wave by RB, oh. pero grabe yung overstay at overextension and to have a 1v1 against the Leo Mord. Kamunti ka na siya dun ah. So ang ginawa dito is yung Tamos clear out agad niya yung minion wave para uh, the idea is he wants to contest yung may nandun sa may blue buff. Unfortunately, ready dun si Chester. Ngayon, kailangan niya mag-recall. Pero this prompts Happy Feet Emperors to have a stake at the bottom side of the crab. So this, ito yung parang pinaka-rotation ngayon ng Happy Feet Emperors. Tan will get his hands on this uh, crab point na mas maaga at makakabalik agad siya dito sa lane where crab is actually delayed the main. Tama ka dyan. Pero ito, makikita mo din dito, may coating overextension si Kaja doon. Probably just providing a vision kung saan pwedeng mag-rotate yung mga kalaban nila para alam din ng Leo Ward. Oh, Tsaka Chico. din yung Lilo Nokoy! Wow, that is a big steal mula kay Chico. Grabe naman doon si Chico. That's the power of the Kaja. Kaya kaya mong gawin yun eh. Oo, tank support. Tank support na nag-ano, nagde-deny ng jungle. Akala ko nga kanina, tumatabay lang siya doon for the vision. Pero hindi, kumukuha na pala ng neutral monster. Sabad ng baba ng mapa, dito situation. Oye, tamang shield lang. Ayan ang kahinaan ng mga range damage dealers. Against this shield, coming out from the Lolita. Pero ito, nako, tamang pwesto. 4-man rotation coming out from E. Olympus at the moment. Turtle resurrecting soon. Oye, yun nga lang dito. Cut of creep wave. I like this STI Olympians. They can feel that they have the advantage that mas nagro-roam na sila ngayon sa mapa. They are also getting more jungle camps. Denying one jungle camp up from your opponents. Parang doble effect. Oy! Grabe sa middle lane of a flicker out si Krab doon. Pero na burst damage din naman ang Kaja natin. Na burn down na rin ang flicker dito ni Mr. V. Forcing him to back away from that potential death. Ito yung sinasabi natin. Yung ginawa ni Chico na nandakaw siya ng jungle camp doon. Ano yung pinag-isa niya? More experience. Nadya nakakuha siya agad ng level 4. Wala pang level 4 na supports mula sa Happy Feet Embers. That's why natalo sila sa laban na yun. Oo, ito na nga team fight. Nasecure ng Eolipe ng Turtle. At ito na nga dumi ng Blast Disconnect. But unfortunately dito, mauubos ata ang kabuhayan ng Emperor's Grab. The first time. Look at that critical damage coming up from the Leo. They're not done. Si Arben. Ako, kailangan na magtago sa Torre. Naku po si Tan. Si Tan nakita dito. At ito na nga, buti na lang. May pang dash out siya doon. Tinaman siya ng Ring of Order. That's why 
Nakansen yung kanyang recall But you see the strength of the STI Olympian squad They have 7k in the bank ngayon As compared to just the 5.4k of Harry Beat Embers This is because of their 4 kills Nawala pa sila binibigay sa kalaban Also, nakuha pa nila yung turtle You have to take note, nakuha ni Chester yung isang kill And meron siyang bounty hunter na emblem or the talent set which means na talagang sobrang yayaman dito si Chester na nagsosolo dun sa top lane for the long time. Sinimula dito ni Jiku gamit gamit ang Beleric ang pagkuha dito ng buff. He's, he's just basically waiting for the Granger to get that one, secure that one. Alam mo dito, hindi talaga lahat ng hard work sa pagda-jungle. Yung jungle mo lang ang gagawa. Sometimes you have to communicate with your other team members kung sisimula na ba yung buff o i-reset nyo ba yung buff or yung mga other objectives ng laro. Yeah. Speaking of objectives, it's all about controlling the turtle now for STI E Olympians because they want Uy. to make sure that, that the early game is theirs. 3 tier 1 turret for E Olympians in the top lane. We have a bottom lane for the top lane. This is the situation of Secret. It's a pest in the corner. That's it. Here in the corner, four members from the side of Emperors just took down that ranger from the side of Olympians. Oh, they're good turn. And this is the middle lane. Grabe naman yung burst damage dito ni Luno. And look at that. They don't even commit yung ultimate doon ni Chico. Si Deja po lang kinailangan With all of the damage na meron siya He's currently level 7 As compared to level 5 Kung titignan mo yung farm dito ni Tamos 1.5k lang mo yung kanyang gold 2.5k na dun sa Lunox Kaya talaga na run over dun si Arve And the thing with Tamos is He has to deal the damage with the Cotterant Inferno Tapos gamit yung Festival of Blood niya Para makapag lifesteal Para mag sustain siya But Dahil mahina pa niyo kanyang physical damage dito, hindi niya kayang mag-lifesteal through the damage of the Lunox. Alam natin, sobrang taas ng burst. Ito na nga, tamang ano lang din dito si Chico. Overextend lang ng overextend. Alam naman natin dito, ang, ang, laki, ang laki na rin ng gold nito eh. How many gold do we have here for 12? 12, 12 as compared to the 10 oh, of the red team. Ano bagay din yan? Pero I think we have a team fight on going on to the top. Tuloy ba nila ito? Oh, ah, ito na nga, Luminum Blood. Chico Boneta. Ito, na-immobilize na si Mr. V. Mukhang hindi na magtatagal pa. Mamba out naman muna para sa E-Olympians. Pero si Jiku, teka lang. Ayun, ah, shinove away lang dito yeah. members ng Emperors. Habang yung kanya mga miembro ng team, kumukuha na naman ng pago. Yeah, this is the turtle take. Ang kuhuli ng Happy Feet Emperors in exchange for this was a tower down the bottom lane. But unfortunately, because hey, hey. they lost Mr. V at that moment, nakakuha nga ng turtle yung STI E-Olympians. Pushing them up to 15k in terms of gold comparably sa 11k ng Happy Feet Emperors. STI really does have the advantage right now. Not to mention, ang yaman na dito ng kanilang Leo Mord as well as Deja Vu with a lot of level. Level 8, parehas na kanilang cores. At tatlong cores nila, I mean. If you compare that, ang baba pa ng level ng Happy Feet Emperors dito. Yep, and makikita natin sa graph na pinakita kanina, E-Olympians, tuloy-tuloy ang pagtaas dito. Yung spike ng gold lead nila, nag-i-snowball sila with this graph na nakikita natin sa screen at ayun na nga deny lang muna ng jungle on the bottom lane part of the map looks like the Olympians is ready to take this tier 1 turret out of the bottom side Chico. to my flicker into my judgment Mr. V will fall down at ito na nga hindi pa sila tapos 4 members committing on to the bottom lane part of the map the Olympians nako ano pang defense ang magagawa bigay nyo na yan pero hindi mapatalo si Kram oh, brilliant grabe ayun na nga mukhang masusunog na ang HP but luckily, may Tore doon. Tayo, oh, we will be punished. Hindi na nakataka si Arben. Ako, Arben, ako kumuha kaya ang kill. Unfortunately, not with the triplex damage coming up from the Beleri. Hindi ka magsosurvive. Ito na nga, dahil kulang-kulang na ang buhay. I Olympians, tara, mabaot muna. They still got the tower, the third up to the, down the bottom lane. And like we said, Chico, if you're playing the Kaja right now, sobrang saya mo kasi kahit sinong kasama mo, makakakuha na kill. Even the tank, even a Lolita, napatay at na burst down ng mga members ng STI e Olympians under the duration of the Divine Judgment because of the damage that they have. Like we said, during the draft analysis, kahit sinong iparis mo dito sa Kaja, kaya makakuha na kill. And this is what STI e Olympians are abusing right now. And ang maganda pa dito, naka-online na yung Ranger soon. natin to one, two, makikita mo yung kill participation niya dito. Or rather, yung mga team fight participation.
participation natin dito. So, alam natin may sabi na, ay, pero tayo ka lang, grabe, oh. Nakita mo yung first damage, bigla na lang mawawala yung buhay. Pero ito sabi ng baba ng mapa, nako, tank versus tank, 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 Mage, that's your, that's Tan, na namatay na naman. And Chester gets his second kill with the Bounty Hunter Rune ta talent, I mean. Kung makikita mo rin sa taas ng mapa, nasa sideline push lang dun ang Leoward natin. Hindi natutakot na si Helgert, hindi, siya, hindi niya kaya makipag 1v1 against that level, il level 12 na nga eh. Level 12 na Leoward. Look at that level gap. We can see two digits na yung nasa E-Olympians. Sa Emperor's one digit pa lang Wolf. This is such a disaster para sa Happy Feet Emperors. Uy. It comes Chester. Umamit na kanyang Phantom Steed. Pero pambugaw lang yan na members ng Happy Feet Emperors. I think what their idea now is to push out the minion waves as soon as, as much as possible. Sa pang mapapansin mo dito ha, ang dami pang tore ng E-Olympians. Isang tore pa lang ang bumabagsak sa site nila. What can Emperors do right now? Kaya pa ba nilang makabawi, Wolf? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be harder by the minute kasi yung lineup din ng Happy Feet Emperors hindi rin naman malakas sa late game. Siguro pag nakapita sila, maybe it could be possible. It's gonna be really, really hard, difficult para sa Happy Feet Emperors to come back. As now, marching forward, SDI Olympus papunta sa gitna. Nako, eto na nga, Courage Wolf! Oh, my God! At ito na nga yung team box, papatalo ang ating team grab going solo na even team box. Big hit para ng Ranger! Deja Vu! Deja Vu trying to deal that first damage for Arthur! Oh, the burn! Magic worship is enough for the burn at the battalion of the wipeout and I think this might be over. SCI, EOPX, bagong team, bagong po! This is their first land as a team, but they showed a lot of promise. After losing game one, back-to-back victories para sa STIE Olympians. Grabe, new team for the first day of the Mobile Legends Bang Bang, the Nationals in here. Grabe yun. Isipin mo yun, no, Wolf. Chemistry building. Ang dami pong tatrabawin sa ganun. Exactly. This is not an easy feat for any team na kakabuo pa lang. Having that courage... Having that, uh, I mean, that confidence na gusto nila mag-top 4 at least. Top 4 daw yung finish nila at least. And proving that they can win against a team that's relatively new pero established na rin. Di ba? Oh. Happy Feet Emperors, these, these players, they've been playing with each other for a long time already. Pero sabi dito ng STIE Olympians, we can well, we can adjust. We have something on the table. Chico played really well in that specific game. Pero Deja Vu with the Lunox, proving that this this uh, team really has something. Meron silang pwedeng ibigay sa table, kumbaga this Nationals. May palag ang STI so, Olympians. So far, 100% win rate for the Leomord as well as the Kaja. Kaja. Leo Kaja. For our first series for today. And I think this is also a light of hope para sa pairing teams dyan or mga players na ano, teka lang, bago po yung team natin. <laughs> against a very solid team already. Yeah. I think that they can. This is... Sabihin na natin may counting jitters kaya natalo sila ng game number one. But this is a lot of promise para sa STIE Olympians. We are going to see the post-game screen at Deja Vu. 6.8K. What do you think yung maling nagawa dito ng Happy Feet Emperors? Saan sila nagpulang? Happy Feet Emperors. Very hard to pinpoint. Okay. The draft na tega lang. No, I don't think it's all about the draft. Because the good thing is the draft around nila dun sa Lunox. So, the main, the the main problem that HFE had in this specific game was lack of respect na rin dun sa Lunox. Okay, sige, fine. Meron sila sagot sa Lunox. Na isusulat Lolita Helcurt. They can deal with the Lunox, and that's that is what we saw in international tournaments. But it seems like you have to play it well pa rin. You have to always check yung Lunox. Parang, sige, fine, meron kay sagot. Pero the moment na magkamali kayo laban sa Lunox, Lunox will take over. And that's exactly what happened in this game. Deja Vu had a free game. But you also have to take note, Chico, with this Kaja, na-overwhelm talaga niya yung lineup ng kalaban because we know that he can really rotate around the map with anyone and can kill off. The MVP of the game, however, ito, ito, is Deja Vu. Ito. 
Siguro kung naging available yung Kagura, baka Kagura nakapayong <laughs> dito eh. Pero Mage Player Deja Vu, Christian Baluran dito na merong 10.5 KDA. 519 dito, grabe. Ang laki, 93% kill. 93% kill, kill participation. Oh. Isa lang yata yung kill na wala siya doon. Oo, oh, oh, grabe. Pero yun ang ano, respect. Respect. Respect the Lunox, mm, I would respect say. Respect the Lunox dito. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that there there's a lot of factors in there. Katulad ng sinabi natin, Chico with that Kaja will have a free game. Bakit free game? Kasi any part of the map nga na pumunta siya, any lane. Nananalo meron, eh. Nananalo talaga kasi what? If he goes top, meron siyang tulang with the Leon Ward, kaya nalang kumuil. If he goes mid, meron Lunox doon. If he goes bottom, meron kang Akai Helker. Ang lakas ng power. Kaya pumatay. Any sort of combination, if you pair it with the Kaja in that specific lineup, kaya makakuha ng kills. Pareho eh. Yung initiation na ipoprovide ng Kaja plus yung power na ipoprovide naman ng kasama niya. Yes, exactly. And we, we cannot remove the fact na grabe din naman yung damage nitong si Kaja. Oh yeah, that's true. Because of the lightning ball. That's why ang lesson for this specific series, Kaja, Leo Mord wins games. But for now, <laughs> we're gonna hop into a short break. When we come back, it's the post-series analysis. And we might know more about the team. So stick with us, guys. Wolf and Kaisaya will be back for you. Thank you so much, Vin. Kami naman si Secret. Meron pala inspired yata ng kanyang uh, oh, family, family. And, and his kid. You know, actually, gusto kong i-take note yung sinabi niyo. It's all about riding the momentum. Finding your momentum and riding the wave with it. Kasi nakita natin, after the pre after game number one, medyo nagkaroon ng konti problema ang STI e Olympians. But come game number two, they showed us na meron nga talaga silang uh, imaibubugat sa laban ito. And, and even more, actually. Yeah, ang naganda, hindi sila natil from that yeah. loss from the game one. Instead, they learned from the mistakes. Yeah. Tulad nga ng sinabi niya, in-overcome nila yung mga mistakes na nagawa na, na nila from game 1 and kinorek nila on a game 2 and game 3. Yeah, and they rode game, uh, the momentum from game number 2 to game number 3 really well kasi nakita natin na kung ano yung recipe nila for the victory in game number 2, inulit lang nila for game number 3 but even better. Alright, diba? Nakita na, natin yung Kaja and Liam Ward na ginamit nila and because of it, they were really successful. Because of this result, of the result, I mean, of the best of 3 series, nakita natin Ito. ang change sa ating team standings with STIE Olympians up top 2-1, unfortunately for Happy Feet Emperors, they will have 1-2 as their record. And napakalaking bagay, lahat ng wins sa laro ng mga teams natin, very important. Kasi I think we're just securing the top 4, yes. di ba? After all of the round matches that will happen. And of course, tapos na yung STIE Olympians versus Happy Feet Emperors. Ang susunod naman ay yung tutunghayan, Signal Ultra Warriors versus PLDT Smart Omega. Okay. Uh, Signal Ultra Warriors, isa sa mga teams na inaabangan for sure for the Nationals one of the top teams here in the Philippines already a champion on their own right yung PLDT Smart Omega naman there were changes with their lineup if I'm not mistaken meron kasi silang original lineup din meron silang mga dinagdag ng mga players and have to take note meron Again. dito mga old veterans na from uh, other esports disciplines here in the Philippines Nako. now going for, to prove themselves in the Mobile Legends Arena. Yun ang Ay. exciting talaga na may kita natin. Very sure. exciting. Kung baga, sa lahat na ng laro or kung baga, <laughs> kung kaya mong mag-adjust, adjust ka adjust talaga. talaga. And, hindi lang yun. Natulad na nabanggit mo, kaka-adjust kaka lang ulit ng lineup. Yeah. So, bagong chemistry building na naman to. Along the way, kung baga, dito na nila gagawin yun sa The exactly. Nationals mismo. Yeah, we, you can also watch yung mga broadcast, of course, ng The Nationals to Pay TV on, uh, at One, East, One Sports, EGG Network via Signal TV and Shepard Free TV at ESPN5. Of course, and, yeah. maraming salamat sa ating sponsors and partners. Paymaya ang ating official digital payment partner. Of course, social media guys, huwag nyo kaming kalimutan na i-follow, i-turn notification on nyo para wala kayong ma-miss na live stream. Facebook.com slash PH Nationals. Yeah. And of course, Twitter, ganyan din, PH Nationals. And on Instagram, PH Nationals. Yeah, uh, yun na ating uh, game number one, our series number one. I mean, we still have two more. Actually, huwag yung alis dito sa Dan National Search. But for Wolf and Kaysaya, we'll be signing off. Maraming salamat sa nanonood. We'll see you after the break.